I am going to clock my fixture the center of my table so I have this long tool so that I can put my dial indicator without hitting my table so I am setting up my dial and I'm going to get the highest point of my picture by moving my X axis after I get the highest point so I will zero my dial now it's in zero and I will go to my machine monitor press position and press relative and I'm going to zero all the axis of my machine so um, x y z and p so press all, all axis so now it is all zero and now what i'm going to do i will move my z axis up so that when i rotate it to 180 degrees i'm not going to hit my picture if I will move my Z and I'm going to rotate my B axis in 180 degrees so now it's in 180 degrees after that one I will move my Z again and I will put my dial to 0 now I have 0.626 and after this one I am going to divide this one by 2 divide this one by 2 which is 3.313 I divide it now by 2 and I am going to tap it with my hammer and set it to 0 now it is now in 0 so what I am going to do I will go back again to the monitor and set the Z to zero and after that one I'm going to rotate the table to 90 degrees this point is low so what I'm going to do I'm going to hit at the other side with my hammer I want to set it to zero again and I'm going to rotate it to the other side which is 270 degree and I will just do the same process until I get the until my picture is zero zero when I rotate it to 360 degrees so I will just go back again to the on the first operation how, that's how you clock your picture if you are going to set it at the center of your table so clock it first set your relative to zero and also your dial set it to zero and move it and rotate 180 degrees and then you can get now what is the difference once you get the difference you are going to divide it by 2 then move your Z by half of your half of the value that you get and then tap with hammer or your fixture so that you can move it and after that one set that one to zero and then you are going to do the other side which is the 90 degree of your table and then now as you can see guys my fixture now is zero zero when I rotate my table to 180 degrees and if you are going to tight your 
your bulb, put your dial gauge so that you can see if your fixture is going to move when you are tightening your bulb. That's the other tip if you want to see if, if you are still at the same position. So now you can tighten now your fixture with I use the Allen key and I use the tube to tighten. It. Then you can double check. Then you can try to double check your fixture. Once your fixture is tight, then you can try to rotate again. If if you are also interested, guys, how to change your palette step by step so i put my link down below thank you again guys for watching this tutorial video i hope you like it and if you do please like share and comment and also please comment down below that you subscribe and i will reply to you as soon as i can and also shout out to lin88 blog thank you ate and shout out to Jason, Jason and Console and shout out to Donabels. See you again guys on my next video.